And after the fire, many students thought there would be no way they could have their prom. But as Local News 8's Linda Larson shows us, the community was not about to let that happen. In some ways, it was a prom night like you might expect just about anywhere. Beautiful girls wearing sparkling dresses and handsome young men in their festive finery. Smiles all around as pictures were snapping everywhere. You guys have a fun time. Thank you. And long white limos delivering happy students to the night that they've been dreaming of. But this year, that dream almost went up in smoke. Friday morning, the gym at Highland High School, where this dance was supposed to be held, burned to the ground. Honestly, thought that we weren't going to have a prom just because of like the tragedy that happened, and so I was just like really upset about it. It did break my heart. It was kind of um, shocking to see like our all of our memories from the last like four years just kind of crumble down. We felt kind of like hopeless for a second, but we knew we would come back stronger. That's when Highland High School students found out how much their community cares. So many people reaching out to help. I never felt so loved just by the small businesses, just offering so much and poking even more our, our colors to school one day. I felt so loved and they were just, I just didn't realize how much our community actually loved each other. Idaho State University stepping in to make sure the students didn't miss a beat. And the grateful students taking full advantage of the offer to have the night of their life. So the idea that we're able to have this as planned, although it's at a different location, is huge. And for us as faculty, it means, you know, the high school experience is about people. It's not about a building. And even though we love that building, it's about the people. And so this is an opportunity to still celebrate that. It's been a tough go for the class of 2023. They started their high school years dealing with a global pandemic distance learning, and having to miss out on so many things. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Just like, we hard, hardly even got like an end of the freshman year, sophomore year, because it was online. Or like you'd go some days, stay home some days, just so they could split the students. Um, and then fire, which is crazy. Um, who knows if we're going back to school or not. There was a special feeling there the entire night. It was a night of togetherness. Native American students led their classmates in a traditional round dance as a sign of friendship and healing. It was also a night of fun. One, two, three, let's go. Students cutting loose and forgetting at least for a time what still lies ahead. While there's still so much unknown about how they'll finish their year, this night meant everything. It is. I've been so excited and so happy just to be here. At Idaho State University, I'm Linda Larson.